Hello Year 2, welcome to your clay animal sculpture lesson. The resources you're going to need are your sketch, a ball of clay about the size of a tennis ball or a large orange, a little amount of water and a knife. So the first thing I'm going to do with my ball of clay is cut it about in half. So you can just do this by pulling it apart or you can use your knife if you've got one. Then I'm going to begin to try and turn half of it roughly into what's going to become the body of my leopard. So I'm going to use my hands to roll the clay in the palm of my hands, which is the flattest area, as you can see now, to create that kind of sausage shape. I've just pulled a little bit off that is going to become the tail a bit later on. And then what's left, the, the other half for the beginning, part of that I'm going to break off to create the head. And then what's left, I'm going to divide it up into the four roughly equal sections because these are going to become the legs. So as I've got them roughly sized, I'm now just working my um, working the different each of the four pieces in my hands, in the palm of my hands, to try and create those sort of sausage shapes and just flattening the ends and the sides to try and make the four all about the same sort of length and width to create each of those four legs. That leftover piece now, I'm just going to start to roughly mould into a ball to create the head. And now I need to start thinking about how I can to attach the head and the head onto the body in a really secure way. So what I've started to do is just to make some marks um, on both pieces of the clay that I would like to join together and a very small amount of water which will help to act almost a bit like a glue. So by scoring the area, by making the cutting marks, by adding the water and now by running my finger across that join and smoothing those that join together, all of those three things, hopefully if you manage to do all of them, should result in a really nice strong and secure joined for adding that head section onto the body. So I'm going to repeat this process now for each of the four legs. So just by scoring, by, by making some little cutting marks, they don't have to be too deep, but just the area that you're going to want to, to um, attach the pieces together. And just with a little dab of water, just with the end of my finger, you don't need very much. You can then just roughly place each of the legs in, um, in position one at a time. But as you're doing it, it won't just act like a glue. You can't just add it, stick it together and it will stay. You must make sure you then rub and pull those bits of clay from the leg onto the body or from the body onto the leg and keep doing that so it's nice and smooth all the way around so you can't see that they were originally two separate parts. They look like they're one whole piece of clay. And if you can repeat that for each of the four legs, then hopefully, when your model, when your sculpture starts to dry, those legs should have been joined on securely enough that they won't break off. If you find you haven't done this properly, you might then find as your um, model starts to dry, some of these things might break. So it's worth spending a bit of time and just trying to scrape that, that clay and joining those elements together really carefully at this stage. So what I'm just trying to do is make sure each of those joins are nice and smooth and I'm just trying to blend some of those lines in now and trying to move some of the feet to turn them. Looking back at my sketch, I can see that the feet have got the toes point out in front. So that's what I'm just trying to start to do now um, to create my, make, to make my clay model look a little bit more like my sketch. So I'm looking back at my picture and trying to think about how I can change the shape, changing the head shape now and just trying to pinch some of the, the clay from the head itself to make some of those little ears poke up. So again, by being able to pinch the clay and changing the shape, hopefully they should stay on and they shouldn't drop off. Now the next, that last little bit of clay I had left, I'm just gonna try and add the tail on. So again, just score that area, make some little marks, add a tiny little dab of water, and then stretch all that clay from the tail onto the body and from the body onto the tail to make that join really strong. Hopefully when you've created all of your different parts to whichever animal you've chosen to create, you can then start to really just look closely and think if there are any extra details that you might want to add on. Looking at my sketch, I've got all of the spots that I'm going to need on to make mine really look like a proper leopard. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play at the moment with the ears to try and turn those and make them look a little bit more like my drawing. And then I'm gonna to have to start trying to think about just adding any little bits of detail on like the nose, I'm just making a little nose and making sure I'm scoring that so I can join that on. And then we're going to start to add some of those spots. So I'm going to change my tool now. I've got more of like a sort of a, a pencil point, I suppose. You could just use a, a pencil if you've got one, a nice sharp one. And you can just tap, tap, tap and sort of almost draw into the surface of the clay. If you've got an animal that's got more as a furrier animal, something like a toothbrush perhaps, 
an old one, not not your toothbrush that you're going to use to brush your teeth tonight, but um, something like a toothbrush might just help to give a little bit of texture to the skip to the um, to the outside of your clay. So hopefully now, if I start to turn my clay model around, you'll be able to see I've included most of the features that I thought about when I was doing my drawing. So I'm just working on the face and adding a few bits of detail on the face. And there you have my finished leopard, ready to leave to dry.